Before we begin guys, this video is not suitable for a younger audience, so if that's you, with all due respect, do one in it. As for the rest of you, Assalamu Alaikum guys, that's right, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Alright guys, so we've seen a story develop over the week, which is of course that of four Christian brothers who have been raping their 12 year old sister. It's been reported that it's been done dozens of times to such a degree that she has even given birth at the age of 13 to a child as a result of all this. Now upon inspecting all of the news coverage, as you guys can see as I'm talking, there is absolutely no mention of the word Christian in the title. In fact, you guys are probably seeing a lot of Amish. Yeah? Now the word Amish is not as well known as the word Christian, but upon a quick Google search, a person comes to know that Amish are a Christian group. Yeah, that's right. In fact, they are Christians that follow their religion quite fervently. Yeah, that's right. They're the type that they will shun the use of a car and a bus and they would rather go on a donkey and a horse because it is similar to the time of Jesus. Yeah, so in other words, they make more of an effort. So if anybody deserves this title of Christian, it's these guys. Now you might be seeing these stories and go, hang on a minute, you're telling us there's four, but it only mentions two. That's right, because two have actually been charged. The other two were underaged, so they weren't necessarily charged. And to be fair, the two that are of reasonable age should be slung into prison and the key should be thrown away. That's what you and I would say, but not the lawmakers. No, 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 no. They, and I quote said, they would be eaten alive in prison. And of course, the fact that they were classed as immature. So yeah, they weren't given a prison time. In other words, they were rewarded for being both stupid and weak. God forbid that these pedos should be beaten up in prison for their crime. I mean, let's face it, somebody that's got a few parking violations, if they go to prison, I mean, it's game over for them, but not the pedos, mate. We can't look after the pedos. These pedos, yeah. Part of their probation was they were not allowed to be in contact with their sister obviously because they raped her a dozen times yeah. So what was then done was these guys were said go back to your home yeah. Fl flipping think about what you guys have done. So they went back home, guess who was at home waiting for them? It was their ruddy sister mate. This sister's probably thinking what the fish is going on here? I think it's clear that the people handling this case are bleach drinking chimpanzees of the lowest level. But I do want you to take note of a few things. Is Christianity being blamed? Are verses of the Bible being taken out of context and calls of Christianity being reformed being made? Are all Christians being treated like a monolithic group and all of them being blamed for this act? No is the answer you're looking for. No siree bab. And all that being said and done, what do we learn from all this here? Yeah? Number one, this is yet another case study to show the media bias when it comes to reporting Muslims and reporting people of other religions. Number two, when your children reach a mature age, you need to make sure uh, that the boys and the girls are in different rooms. Number three, next time you're doing a crime, just bleach your skin, isn't it? It helps if you're a white person. And lastly, number four, it's very interesting to see the way pedos are becoming slowly, slowly part of our society and the way the media and the law is treating them. It's very interesting and I would say keep tabs on it. And when it comes to your own kids, keep them close. Don't leave them open to the programming that schools are giving and that the media and the programs, the cartoons or whatever are giving them because let's face it, a lot of madness is going on. Some things that we may understand, yeah, but some things we may not necessarily be able to understand with regards to symbolism, uh, with regards to the sound waves and the animations and the subliminal programming. There's all sorts of things at work. Let's leave it there guys. Hope you guys have benefited. Until next time, <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum.